Hey guys, I just got this in uh, to do some testing on. This is the Race Day Quads Mach 2 VTX. Uh, in the package you will find the VTX itself and it's going to come with the, uh, the connector that you chose on checkout, whether that's the MMCX or the UF UFL. Um, and then, uh, you know, you, instead of having a plug like the Unify Pro or the Tramp, you're going to have solder pads. And then you get a wire harness with the, you know, the wire ends for the pre tense solder pads and then a, a plug for your power ground and then a plug for, a, a, I guess, a camera. I'm not sure what camera this is designed for. It's not the, you know, the Runcam Micro or, or Mini. And uh, you're, you're just going to end up cutting these two plugs off and soldering, up, soldering them up to your, your battery and your flight controller if you're using OSD or to whatever camera plug you're going to use. All right, let's talk about some of the things I like about this VTX. <clears throat> for one, it's got a built-in pit mode. That's great for if you're at a race and you're trying to change your settings without affecting the pilots who are currently in the air. Um, it does have smart audio using the TBS smart audio protocol. Um, you'll set that up through, through Betaflight after you've connected your smart audio wire. I've got plenty of videos on how to do that on the Omnibus boards, and this is going to work the exact same way. Um, on top of the smart audio, it also has a nice LED band and channel display. Um, that's one thing I really disliked about the Unify Pro and the Tramp are that the LEDs can sometimes be confusing, and if you're in a crunch in a race and you're trying to make changes fast, it's kind of a giant pain in the ass. This VTX comes with a lot of flexibility on your power output. Um, of course, it's got the zero, which is your pit mode, your 25, which is going to be used for your racing, uh, or maybe possibly 200, and then you've got 500 and 800 for when you're out, um, you know, doing freestyle somewhere or flying far away from yourself. If you're not into the whole smart audio thing, it also has an onboard microphone, which is pretty cool. I know a lot of people who still like to fly using their audio, so this is a great uh, modern VTX for those pilots. Their site lists that they actually provide a case-by-case -case, uh, help on how to get um, clean videos, so I think that's really cool. If you're having video problems and you've purchased this VTX, um, you should definitely contact your estate quads, and supposedly they will help you get these problems resolved for your specific quad, which I think is super cool. I think it's price perfect. It's right at $28.99, which is the same price as the Unify Pro, um, but they're all right around the same same price point. This has a regulated 5 volt out for cleaner video, so they list that they've got some, some tech in there that's going to help with voltage spike filtering. So if you're going to wire this up to your camera, you should definitely hook your camera directly, power and ground directly up to your VTX and not run through your, your flight controller board to take advantage of this feature. I think it's cool that they make this with UFL, um, or MM MMCX. Uh, I know a lot of people are moving to that MMCX connector, and so it's cool that they give you the option for it. Which leads me right into the things that I don't like about this VTX. I was originally under the impression that it was a UFL and MMCX connector. Uh, I thought that was super cool to give pilots the flexibility um, until I received it and saw that mine was a UFL only. Um, I actually purchased an MMCX Axi antenna that I hoped to try out with this. Um, but I was bummed when I realized that I was going to have to wait on that. Uh, when you add this item to your shopping cart, make sure you uh, choose the drop down for the item you, or for the uh, connector you want because that's, that's where you're making that choice and you're going to get one or the other, not both. Um, another thing I didn't like about this VTX is that they don't have a plug uh, for your wire harness. I know they kind of touted this as a feature, but I actually look at it as a kind of a, a con. Um, I know that. In the past, when I've had video issues, sometimes it's nice to be able to swap VTXs between your quads uh, to try things out, and that's not going to happen with this. You're soldering this VTX to this quad, and unless you add your own wire harness uh, connector, um, you're kind of stuck with that. Um, another downside to this is that uh, this will not broadcast on all channels, so E4, E7, and E8 are not going to be available to you. If you select them, there's going to be no output of video. Um, I know this is a, a legal thing. I know this is a legality thing, and a, and a big vendor just recently got fined a whole lot of money for selling VTXs that broadcast on these channels. But as a pilot, I know that when you show up to races, there's a chance that you're going to be asked to use these channels, and it bumps me out that they've excluded them, and there's no way to unlock the channels at your discretion. Um, just know that you're going to need to go into your VT or just know that you're going to need to go into your multi GP quad profile and set it up properly so that you don't get selected to use these three channels that you're not going to be able to use. I've been burned by that in the past and I've had race directors uh, bitch at me because I got assigned a channel that I couldn't use and they had to end up switching people around to make it work. <clears throat>
I hope in the future that uh, all multi-GP races just do away with those illegal channels. So this isn't an issue, and people who are new to the hobby and don't know anything about this, they don't get burned by these uh, by these you know channels that they're not able to use. Another thing that kind of bummed me out about this VTX was that pit mode requires OSD. Um, this means that to even get into pit mode, you need to power up your quad and be broadcasting so that you can get on your goggles and get into the OSD to turn on pit mode. This means if you show up to a race not already in pit mode, you're not going to be able to power up until all the quads are on the ground. Um, you know, otherwise, I would have liked to have seen the ability to hold down one of the buttons on the VTX while powering on to go directly into the pit mode. I know the Tramp and the, the uh, Unify Pro have this ability. <clears throat> and I just feel like that's a, a feature that this really should have launched with. All right, now let's talk about wiring it up. Uh, this is going to be wired up just like any other VTX uh, that's out today, really. Um, you're going to wire your power and your ground straight to your battery voltage, and then you're going to power uh, your camera off of your VTX. And you're going to use the 5-volt the out and ground right to your camera. If you're not going to be using a flight controller with OSD, you can wire the video straight to the camera as well. But if you're going to be using the OSD, you want to run your video uh, in to your uh, flight controller, and then run your camera to the flight controller video in as well. Um, that way you can get that OSD on there. Now if you're going to be using smart audio, you want to run the audio wire to one of the TX slots on your flight controller and then go into Betaflight and select the Unify Pro protocol for that UART. Overall, I think this is just a great uh, suitable alternative for the Unify Pro and the Tramp. I keep mentioning those two VTXs just because up until now, they've been the two trusted VTXs in FPV racing. You know, they're, they've been proven time and time again uh, to be to be accurate and broadcast at the right power output on the right channel with enough, without a lot of bleed over. I've not had a chance to try out this VTX um, and with 2.5 inch spec racing in full swing, I doubt I'll get to it anytime soon. But I did some reading around and watching other people's YouTube videos and testing and it seems like this thing's pretty damn good. And it's right up there with the best in regards to power output readings. I hope this review of the Race Day Quads Mach 2 VTX has been helpful for you. Um, I think this is a great VTX if you're looking for the reliability uh, that you get from a Unified Pro, but you're looking for that MMCX connector. If that sounds like you, uh, definitely check out this VTX. Um, if you like videos like this, uh, please consider subscribing and thumbsing up the video so others can find this great content. Thanks for watching.